It's a little bit later than what we expected, a 4 p.m. Uh, State of the Nation address of the President. Ito po ang ikalawang uh, zona ni Pangulong uh, Duterte. Correspondent Pia Ontiveros is also at the Batasang Pamansa. Pia? Pia has been pictures to... now from the rear entrance. That's what you're uh, seeing right now. Uh, live pictures from here at the House of Representatives. Uh, the President's chopper has just landed at the rear entrance. Okay. You're going to see him in just a bit. And also, when he uh, uh, comes down from the chopper, he will be met uh, right there by uh, General Eduardo Año, the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, and by the House and the Senate. Senate Sergeant at Arms, uh, the Senate Sergeant at Arms, retired Major General Jose Balahadia, and the retired Lieutenant General Rolando de Tabali. Everywhere the President goes when he arrives to an event, this is uh, tradition, this is protocol met by the Chief of Staff, that was General Año, and the two Sergeants at Arms of the Senate and the House. Uh, General Año now is going to be bringing him to the starting point of uh, the AF. AFP Honor Guards. He's going to walk through the AFP Honor Guards uh, as, as, uh, as part of the arrival ceremony uh, as President and as Commander-in-Chief. Uh, arrival honors are always due uh, him. Uh, President Rodrigo Duterte's second State of the Nation address will be underway in just uh, moments from now. Earlier we were announcing, as is uh, protocol and tradition, the President usually goes first to uh, a lounge uh, before he goes into the session hall. However, since it is about a minute or two before 4 o'clock in the afternoon, which is the appointed time, and which is the time that is stated uh, in the Constitution for him to deliver that sauna, we're not quite too sure right now. Now, this is the AFP Honor Guard, and that uh, to the President's left is General Eduardo Año, the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines. Rendering him a salute as Commander in Chief, and he's about to meet or to be met by Senate President Coco Pimentel and House Speaker Pantaleon Bebot Alvarez. Of course, just uh, under, two, uh, under 48 hours ago, uh, both uh, Pimentel and Alvarez had um, presided over a joint session of Congress, also here at the Batasang Pambansa, where the Senate and the House uh, both uh, overwhelmingly approving the extension of martial law in Mindanao to December 31st. 2017, the very last day of 2017. A uh, little bit of um, uh, small talk with House uh, Minor Majority Leader Rudy Farinas and Senate Majority Leader Tito Soto. Uh, very, uh, the pleasantries that are going on among them, of course. Uh, Let's see if he turns right, because that is the uh, lounge where he's going to spend a bit of time before he goes, all right, he is uh, entering uh, the lounge. We expect him to stay here for about a few minutes, and then we expect that he is uh, going to be ushered out and brought to the session hall. Now, normally, this uh, portion, uh, every sauna, no, if this portion of the uh, proceedings are closed uh, to uh, coverage, uh, or at the very least, we're not going to hear what they're talking about. It's usually small talk, and usually uh, they... they ask uh, the president how he or she is. Uh, they do a little bit of small talk, uh, like we said earlier, before the president uh, begins his sauna. Also, uh, earlier, uh, our senior correspondent, Ina Andalong, telling us that the president will be holding a press conference uh, after uh, his uh, sauna. Uh, and uh, uh, she was saying that uh, the information that's reached her is that uh, the president is expected to speak about housing uh, in, in general. Uh, also, uh, she was also telling us about what to expect in the president's speech. Of course, uh, many, many um, expecting that there will be a lot of talk about uh, the extension of martial law in Mindanao, which uh, the joint session on this very floor that you're seeing right now, uh, the inside, uh, the plenary hall of the Batasan Pambansa, where uh, an overwhelming majority of uh, the senators and the congressmen decided that uh, they would allow an extension to martial law in Mindanao until December 31, 2017. The president there uh, trying to relax a bit before he goes off um, uh, to the session hall. From uh, that area, the, the lounge uh, where he is, and just, uh, just to uh, re rewind just a bit, no, earlier he had gone through the rear entrance. Uh, that, that room, uh, which, um, the hall which he had entered just after uh, going through the AFP Honor Guards, uh, 
uh, in 2010 when President uh, Noinoy Aquino held a press conference after his uh, first sauna, that was where he held uh, his uh, press conference. We're not saying that that's uh, the same spot, but we're just uh, giving you that information. Of course, you're looking at the um, uh, session hall of the Batasang Pambansa just two or three seconds ago. This uh, Batasang Pambansa, of course, a uh, very historic uh, uh, witness to so much history.